you going, my winter sun? Won't, won't you miss me staying on this side of the sea? So most of the European countries already banned the import of Russian oil. This is a lot of help. Right, yes. yes. Because without enough money, Russia had to somehow kill its ambition or, or limit its ambition. Mm. I just hope so. Yes. yes. yes and the people will understand more and more about Russia's brutal war in Ukraine, so they probably will not support it. And everybody will have some way to minimize the size of Russia's influence or friendship. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. So even Merkel now said Russia's invasion in Ukraine is barbaric. Mm -hmm. One word. Or better than nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, that probably will earn her some votes if she goes back into the limelight again. She said she is considering going yeah. back in there. She probably stays home bored with her husband alone doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Old and could not even change a boyfriend or anything. <laughs> Cannot do much anymore, so she has to go back to the political arena. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God. Once they have the taste of this... Uh, mighty power of uh, top politicians is difficult to let go. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But anyway, as I said, I have to praise Europe for being so courageous and uh, morally fit, at least to some point, that they even cut down the oil from Russia to protest and also to douse the fire in Ukraine. They try their best. Mm. Yes, Master. Well, the best is that they accept Ukraine immediately. And let them go into NATO. Mm, yes, yes. yes. I mean, it's not for fighting, but if they join NATO, then they don't have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, because, uh, you know, the snakes, they know each other. Right. They don't want to touch each other. But they don't want to do that. I don't know why either. I don't know what stops them. I don't know what slows them down to bring Ukraine into the EU and into NATO. Okay, so now they do the second best, you know, sanction here, sanction there, continue sanctioning. So maybe that helps because uh, the experts say that Russia's economy is crushing down now. Mm -hmm. Or it has to. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Yes, 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 yes. There's no other choice. If they have no money, then they can't fit themselves. They cannot uh, buy uh, material for the war, those small accessories for tanks, airplanes, rifles, and drones for everything. Yeah. Yes. And they cannot fit their soldiers. I read the news also that it's already happening. Oh. Like many soldiers don't want to fight because they don't get paid. Oh. Mm. Maybe it's less payment or maybe the too many months don't get paid. Oh. Oh, yeah. right. And also the harsh conditions in a strange land with not enough supplies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The morale is also low, yes. mm -hmm. because they know it's not a just war. It's not at all. It's just killing civilians. No end like that. Even if they're just a normal soldier, they don't want that. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, that's true. true. Even those who are ordered to kill did it in the beginning, because uh, they were trained to listen to orders, but they didn't feel good. They felt bad. They were crying to their mother, saying, Russia, they, we are the fascists. Mm -hmm. We are killing civilians here. It's our lives. It's not true. They were crying. And they talked to each other and say, well, what are we doing here? It's not the way we should do as a soldier. Civilians live on the territory of Ukraine, ordinary working people. We, it turns out, came here as invaders, occupiers. We are like fascists here. 
even those cadets already understand that. Everybody understands. Yes. Yes, sir. So if putting all the gangs and the system doesn't have enough support from inside and outside Russia, then sooner or later, Ukraine will win. Yes. They don't have to give land like Kissinger was mouthing before. Mm. Yeah. They can trade. They have also advantages. They can trade land for soldiers or for sanctions even. Because mm -hmm. right now, Russia continues to be sanctioned again, again, and again. Newly even. Yes. I just want to clarify. When I say trade in land for sanctions, that means if Russia doesn't willingly give back the land to Ukraine, then we have to use that. Like, if they are willing to return all the land to Ukraine, then the West will relieve the sanctions on yes. Russia. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I understand. Yes, yes master. master. We can exchange that way. So Ukraine still has some leverage. Mm. That's right, yes. Master. That's what I mean. Is it clear now? Yes, yes Master. Because yeah. sanctions are a lot for Russia nowadays. That's true. So I don't think Russia will cling on to this land and starve to death or its people. Yes, yes master. master. The whole system. It's already going in a bankruptcy direction. Many businesses are all gone, gone, gone. All big businesses are gone, 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 gone. Mm. Yes. Yes. Even McDonald's packed. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Russia bought some of the McDonald's shops. I think they're going to change it into Rush Donor or something. <laughs> <laughs> because, wow, well, a lot of sanctions for Russia. They continue to sanction. Then I think Russia has to give up the land for the easing of sanctions on their system, on their leaders, on their country, their businesses, and their oligarchs. Yes. 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 I think that would be a good idea. Yes. 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 It's not just Ukraine that has to give up something. Why? It's their land. Exactly. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> My God. <laughs> so they can talk with Russia. They can exchange. Yes, 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 yes sir. It's not like uh, Ukraine doesn't have any leverage, right? Right. right. So we wish Ukraine all the best. Uh, we wish the war will end. So nobody has to be killed. Nobody has to die or be wounded. 40,000 wounded Russian soldiers. That's a big number, no? Yes, yes. that's yes. a lot. No wonder their commanders just shot them. You know, they cannot carry all at the same time, you know, and the equipment as well. And when there's a choice, they prefer equipment. Then they are wounded soldiers. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh wow. That is the thing. That's how you are taught in communism. To disregard human life or emotion as the end will justify the means. Oh, God, what means? Or devils. Means, mm, yeah. No. Any other questions? Otherwise, I feel like I need to put something in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise, I feel like vomiting. I feel no sitting. Talking too much about all these negative things. Is this been piling up? It's not like one time, two time news, yeah? It's been for three months already. Mm. Yeah, that's yes, true. Yes, yes, and it piled up in me. Mm -hmm. Yes. All this is bad news. All bad things about Russia, nothing good comes out of it now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, up yes. to now, nothing good. I mean, I don't know why uh, Europe or the West or NATO even hesitate in the beginning. Probably because of oil and gas or, or nukes. Because don't want to touch the tiger. Mm. Yes. I want to touch the robber Hamlet person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, they have enough excuses to take down Russia, NATO or not. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Because uh, Russia broke everything. They yes. broke all the promises, all the rules with NATO, all the rules with the Hungary Memorandum. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. All the principles of uh, the UN. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes. And also, uh, they broke the founding act with NATO. Because in uh, 1990-something, they signed a pact like none of them should be building up armed forces in Europe. Yes. Mm -hmm. But Russia is doing it all alone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It broke everything. All the agreements, all the principles, all the uh, treaties, mm -hmm. and all the international rules, even war rules, not to talk about normal rules. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah, they just kill anybody at random. Here now, this is fresh brown dirt, and they've been using bulldozers 
that we saw in earlier imagery to slowly dig out these trenches. Around just the town of Mariupol, there are three mass graves, and I would say that they're ready for 5,000 bodies or more. We see effects of uh, torture. When we open the mass graves so with civilians, they were shot. Uh, their um, uh, arms were uh, tied back their bodies. Uh, we have facts of sexual crimes against civilians, not only against women and even against men, children and old women. He shot my mother right between her eyes. In the aftermath of the Russian occupation, the open wounds of the alleged crimes committed against civilians are everywhere in sight. Братья Росія, бачите, яке нам принесли? Горе. National police teams are here to gather evidence of alleged war crimes against civilians. Це черговий приклад злочину армії Російської Федерації. Вони не військові, не в територіальній обороні, ні зброї у них не було. Їх просто цивільних людей, яких вони бачили, вони їх розстрілювали на вулицях. Що прямо забороненою конвенцією і стосовно всіми міжнародно-правовими актами вчиняти такі злочини відносно цивільних людей. They broke everything. So Russia is truly a real criminal in the whole world. It's truly the black side of the Tao symbol. Yes, yes. yes. The whole black side of it. So I don't know what NATO and Europe are waiting for. At least protect your own people, you know, like Ukraine. Ukraine is your own. Right. Mm -hmm. right. They are us, you know. They are there. They are European. They are of NATO mentality. Yes, yes. 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 So it's their own people. At least protect mm -hmm. them. Exactly. Yes. And deal with the bully. That's right. Yes. But they did neither. Yes. Mm -hmm. Up to now, three months already. How many people died? How many people suffered? Under extreme, extreme agony already. NATO. If they only help their own members who pay them, who are supporting them, and not help those in need, right in front of their eyes, suffering in front of their eyes, then it's worse than business. It's not just business. It's worse than business. And uh, this kind of organization, mentality, or action has no ounce of merit in the eyes of heaven. If they're working in that non-compassionate principle, just working like your business, it's worse than business. What's the difference between NATO and, and the gangster outside? Those organized uh, criminals, the threatened business people or some weaker people outside uh, extort them for money and threaten them. If they don't give them money, then they will be harmed by them or other gangsters. So what is the difference between NATO and these organized gangsters? Hmm? They still, uh, you know, deal with Dali. Yes, yes. 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 The world is upside down, just like the story I told you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> if you are a robber, you are protected. Mm -hmm. If you are a normal citizen, you'll be biased against. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But that is a true story. Mm, yes. True story. But it happens nowadays also. I read some news sometimes that the police force and the mafia also have their respect for each other. If you don't touch me, I won't touch you. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, if you get one of them, they will come in and say, you want your police car to blow up tomorrow? Mm. <laughs> Things like that. Yes. And the police will talk back, you want your brother in a cage tomorrow? <laughs> and they will say, I told you, you have your own territory. Mm -hmm. But you have to do things more quietly. <laughs> yeah. Don't go overboard. Then we both understand each other. Something like that. Yeah. They have their pact. Nowadays, they still have. They're also afraid of the mafia. Mm. Yeah, 
sometimes they they catch them, but mostly they try to leave them alone. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Because it doesn't hurt their things. <laughs> it mm-hmm. only hurts ordinary people, helpless people's things. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Ah, oh, this world. I'm telling you, if it's not hell, then it's what? Huh? Mm-hmm. In heaven, we have fair judgment. But in heaven, there's no judgment. There's no need. Yes. 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 This world needs judgment, needs fairness. And we don't have it. Mostly we don't have it. Yes. 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 If you roar loud and uh, you have weapons, then uh, people will uh, just listen to you. Or if you have oil and gas, uh, it's even better. Mm-hmm. Then you can control everywhere and nobody dare say anything. Oh, this coward. This makes me really sick. Okay, never mind. We had some good news before, so I'll refer mm-hmm. to those. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, I need to go now. My stomach uh, bugs me. Yes. Come on. Mm. And I wish you a good uh, evening, okay? Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you all the best. God love. Thank you very much. Thank you, Master. Master. And my love. <laughs> my yeah. little love. <laughs> God's love is big and I chip in my little love for you. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. We love you, Master. See you next time. See you, Master. See you, Master. Thank you, Master. Bye-bye, Master. I wish we could sell the same destination. I want to break these chains of my desperation.